for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of earthquake resistance structure by using shear wall system so in my previous videos i was explain how to uh, design the earthquake resistance structure by using shear bracing system and comparison of the results with the normal general building without using any kind of the earthquake resistant models okay so in this video I, in the second concept i will cover the concept which is related to the uh, shear wall system so for that respected example just i will consider the same model which i was already done the uh, Uh, earthquake resistant designing concepts for the bracing system so this is a building model so it is consisting of uh, m20 m30 grade concrete and fe 500 grade steel okay so for that respected section i was consider the beam size of 0.45 cross 0.65 column size of 0.8 cross 0.5 okay again for this respected structure the wall section will be consisting of slab section will be consisting of approximately 150 mm okay so after defining the properties which is related to the beam column and slab section we need to assign those property for the building structure okay so i was already assigned those respective property for the building structure now we have to assign the shear wall condition system for that go to define option select the section property select the wall section click on add new property option select the uh, shear wall condition system which is related to the 230 mm and select the material will be of m30 grade and we have to select the thickness will be approximately equal to 130 click on okay option sorry so here we have to select this respected uh, property to the uh, let us consider shear wall of uh, two section which is consisting of 230 mm click on okay option so here i am selecting shear wall okay so click on delete property so click on okay option so now we have to assign the respected shear wall condition for the building for that firstly we have to select the all stories option so for the assignment of the shear wall condition we have the two methods so first method is related to the assignment from the joint to joint so see here i am selecting draw walls option select the property name is shear wall 2 select the starting point here again i am selecting the second point here so that it will apply the shear wall condition system for the plan view as well as the 3d view for the building structure so after that again we have to assign the shear wall condition system for the remaining structure so here i am selecting this respected second option in order to apply the shear wall condition system in the simple way just i am selecting this property just select here like this okay so now we can see here it was assigned with shear wall condition system here like this again i am selecting this respected property here like this again i am selecting this shear wall condition system in the alternative position why because so in the previous video for the respected bracing system i was applied the uh, bracings in alternative position that's why here also i am considering the alternative shear wall condition system for the building structure okay so again in the same process i am selecting this respected property here again i am selecting one more property for this respected shear wall condition system here like this okay so again for the last section just i am considering here like this for the respected section okay so after applying the uh, shear wall condition system we need to assign with the peer labels and peer id in order to convert the respected wall section to the shear wall condition system so for that go to select option select this respected property which is related to the wall section again under this we need to select the shear wall 2 click on select option close option go to assign option select the shell area load so shell options here so in this we need to select the peer uh, label okay so here i am selecting the peer label p1 click on apply option so that it will apply the p1 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 for the entire structure so now we have to apply the load cases for the building structure as per the definitions we are consider the load cases which are related to the uh, lateral loading condition system as well as the uh gravity loading condition system under this we need to consider the dead load live load and seismic load and wind load so these are the properties which i was already discussed in my previous video you can watch that complete video for complete assignment of the load cases so here i was consider this respected uh, assignment for the dead loading condition firstly we have to select all the building go to assign joint point load select the forces just i am selecting add to existing condition system 111 so here you can select add to replacement option why because just i am doing the same model for the respected uh, double model that's why i am considering here as replacement option so you can click select add any existing load so click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, self weight condition system for the building again in the same process we have to apply the wall load condition system so for that click on select option property which is related to the frame section of the beams okay so click on assignment option frame line load distributed load add to existing loading condition otherwise you can select as replace existing loading condition select the 24.3 this is the sum of the 
dead load which is related to the wall load condition of uh, external wall load internal wall load and parapet wall loading condition click on apply option so that it will apply the all wall load condition system for the building structure so click on ok now we have to apply the uh, slab load condition system go to select option for that select option properties which is related to the slab section just i am selecting s150 option close option go to assign option shell area load uniform condition system select the dead loading condition system uh, select the replace existing load with the 2 kilo newton per meter square click on apply so that it will apply the load which is related to the 2 kilo newton per meter square for the floor okay again in the same process i am selecting the previous section go to select the live loading condition which is related to the 3 kilo newton per meter square for the live loading condition system click on apply option so click on ok option so that it will apply the all load condition system for the building structure so now we have to apply the uh, now we have to apply the support condition system select the plan view for that select the base click on apply so click on ok option so that it will select the plan view for the respected building so again in the same process just i am selecting one story option here select all the node points at the base go to assign option here select the jo uh, joint point load select the option as restraints option select the fixed support condition click on apply option so that it will apply the uh, joint load which is related to the sub fixed support condition system at the base so now we have to analyze this respective structure under considerations of the shear wall condition system okay so for that go to analyze option on the top okay click on check models option initially we need to check for the joint checks for the errors click on ok option so after checking process completed the display will be shown with no warning message okay so click on cancel option here so go to analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the respected building structure under considerations of the seismic loading condition wind loading condition and gravity loading condition system so now here we can see that complete deflection diagram is showing here like this so in order to see the deflection diagram for the seismic loading condition go to display option select the deform shape under the condition of the seismic load x click on apply so that it will apply the deflection diagram under considerations of the uh, earthquake load in x direction this is the earthquake load in x direction deflection again in the same process we have to see the shear force diagram bending one diagram display option select the forces option select the frame spandrilla force option select the shear to two option select the load case is dead loading condition click on apply option so that it will display the shear, uh, shear force diagram under considerations of the dead load Again, I am selecting movement 3 3 option, click on apply option so that it will display the bending one diagram under considerations of the load. Okay. In the same process, you can select the earthquake load in x direction, click on se select shear 2 2 option, click on apply option. Okay. So that it will display the shear force diagram for the respected building. Again, I am selecting movement 3 3 option, click on apply option so that it will display the movement diagram for the building. Again, I am selecting torsion option, click on apply option. Okay. So, so that you can display the value of respected torsion diagram under considerations of the seismic loading condition okay so this is the complete process of modeling of shear wall condition system and uh, how to apply the load cases for the respective structure so the seismic load and wind load will be directly applied as per the is codal provision of 1893 as well as 875 part 3 code okay so in my upcoming video i will explain you comparison of the results between the general building model as well as the shear wall building model uh, for the designing of the earthquake resistance structure okay if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you